So one of the other classification categories is matching. And matching describes the uniformity of pearls in a necklace or a pearl item piece of jewelry. Um, matching is the only value factor that's not inherent to the pearls. So matching is judged on the consistency of the size, the shape, the color, the luster, the surface, and nacre quality. All of the categories that we've looked at up until this point come into play when you're trying to match a strand or a jewelry item and come into play when you're judging that matching. Uh, so as we said before, when you're classifying matching, you're really judging the uniformity of the pearls within a strand or a piece of jewelry. Um, when we are judging matching or classifying matching in the lab, we, it's one of the categories that we classify in this position with the pearls held out in front of us. Um, one of the first things that we do when we're classifying pearls is we hold it out like this and we take a fairly fast initial glance um, and you sort of just want to sweep your vision across the strand. Um, what you'll find is this is sort of almost a slightly intuitive way to see, to get a feel for the overall matching. And that's because if you have a really well matched strand, as you move your eyes across the strand, it doesn't get caught your view doesn't get caught anywhere. Um, if, on the other hand, you have a poorly matched strand, you'll feel your eyes start to bounce around. It'll get caught on something that's out of shape, or if the color's different, or if the luster's off, your eyes will have a really hard time sort of move, moving smoothly across the strand or the piece of jewelry that you're looking at. So that's just sort of an initial way, like I said, to get an overall feel for, for what the quality might be of the matching.